Hello, everyone. Uh, as Sebastian mentioned, I'm Julien Ferry. I'm a PhD student from La CNRS in Toulouse, France. And I'm going to present my work on exploiting furnace to enhance sensitive attributes reconstruction. First, I will introduce background notions. Then I will present our approach to leverage the furnace information, the fact that the model is fair, to reconstruct its training set sensitive attributes. Then I will present an experimental evaluation of our approach. And finally, we'll conclude. So we can consider some high stakes decision making task, for instance, uh, income prediction, which can then be used for loan attribution. We have a labeled data set composed of unsensitive attributes, which can be used for decision making. They can be, for instance, education level. Each example is also characterized by some sensitive attributes, which should not be used for decision making, for instance, uh, gender, and by a grand tooth label, which is what we will want to predict, for instance, the income level. Uh, if we are if we have a binary classification task it can be either low or high given this classification setup there are several ways of uh, defining fairness in machine learning in this work we are interested in statistical fairness notions the general idea is that the different values of the sensitive attributes define different protected groups and we want to uh, make sure that the classifier we are learning behaves rather similarly between the different groups so formally, we want to ensure that some statistical measure of a classifier's outputs differ by no more than a given tolerance between the different protected groups. Given this high-level uh, idea, we can formulate the fair learning problem as a constraint optimization problem, where the objective is to build a fair classifier, which maps the insensitive attribute space to the label space, as you can see. So this is important. The classifier doesn't use the sensitive attributes uh, for inference. And while building this classifier, we want to minimize some objective function, which can be, for instance, classification error, while also satisfying uh, fairness constraints. So here we see that we have one fairness constraint for each protected group, for each sensitive attribute value, stating that some statistical measure must differ by no more than a given tolerance between the overall data set and uh, the protected group at hand. Depending on which statistical measure we use, we define different statistical fairness metrics. For this presentation, we will focus on the statistical parity metric, which uses the positive prediction rate and tries to match it between the different protected groups. In this work, we are interested in uh, privacy attacks named reconstruction attacks. So they were first introduced in the context of database access mechanisms. And in this setup, the objective of an adversary was to reconstruct one column of a database. So the adversary knew the entire database except for one column, and its objective was to reconstruct this column. If we apply such attacks in the machine learning setup, we have an auxiliary uh, an adversary with some auxiliary knowledge. The adversary has black box access to the fair model trained on some data set, and its objective is to reconstruct the sensitive attributes of the training set. Again, remember that uh, the difficulty is that the classifier doesn't use the sensitive attributes for decision making. So traditional sensitive, so traditional attribute inference attacks uh, are usually not possible here. Okay, so now I'm going to present our approach to leverage the fact that the model is fair to reconstruct its training set sensitive attributes. Here is a proposed pipeline. We have, as I mentioned, uh, a data set composed of sensitive attributes, non-sensitive attributes, and labels. This training set is used by a learning procedure to produce a fair model H. The outputs of the fair learning procedure are the fair model itself and what we call the fairness information. So we know that model H is fair according to some metric and some unfairness tolerance. Then the fair model can be used for inference, which predicts uh, labels given unsensitive attributes. And here comes the attack. So the objective of the attack is to reconstruct the training set sensitive attributes, S. We first consider a baseline adversary. So this is just a building block. We can plug in any adversary from the literature. This adversary has some auxiliary knowledge, and it outputs a first reconstruction of the sensitive attributes that we call S hat, along with confidence scores, indicating the adversary's confidence in uh, its baseline reconstruction components. And here in blue comes our contribution. So this component uh, that we call in reconstruction corrector takes as input the baseline adversary reconstruction and confidence and corrects it to comply with the fairness information. It outputs a corrected version of the baseline adversary reconstruction 
reconstruction compliant with the fairness information and uh, minimizing the confidence weighted changes to the baseline adversary. The intuition is that there's no reason for the baseline adversary reconstruction to satisfy the fairness, the fairness constraints. And if it doesn't, we can try to modify it, to post-process it, to improve it in terms of accuracy by incorporating this fairness information. So in the next few slides, I will present two possible implementations for this reconstruction corrector component. This uh, here is the first uh, implementation we propose, which is coined the general reconstruction corrector model. This is an integer programming model. As I mentioned, it takes as input baseline adversary reconstruction and confidence, the target model's predictions, and the fairness information. Here, the decision variables are simply the, sensitive, the corrected sensitive attributes reconstruction for each uh, example of the training set. Given this uh, setup, we want to minimize the confidence-weighted number of changes to the baseline adversary reconstruction. So this is the objective function in green. If we only look at this objective function, a trivial solution will be to change nothing. But obviously, here we are setting constraints with the hope that they will help performing changes that may improve the reconstruction accuracy. This constraints uh, simply state that we want to keep at least one example in each protected group, or else the fairness metric are not defined. And we simply here set, set the fairness constraint. So this is a model for the binary sensitive attribute set, uh, setting. We have two protected groups. And for the statistical parity metric, so if we look at this uh, constraint, for instance, it states that the positive prediction rate on the entire data set and that on protected group one should differ by no more than the unfairness tolerance epsilon. The key advantage of this model is that because it explicitly encodes every uh, training set example sensitive attributes, it can be used to encode any constraints over such sensitive attributes. Its main drawback is that it has an exponential search space and so it doesn't scale well. Furthermore, for statistical fairness constraints, we don't need such granularity because uh, as you can see, only counts matter. For instance, with the statistical parity metric, what matters is the number of positively predicted examples in each predicted group, and only this number matters. So we can leverage this fact and uh, reformulate our, our problem. We coined this new model, the efficient reconstruction corrector model. It takes as input the exact same information as before, but a little bit pre-processed to improve uh, the solving efficiency. For each uh, count, we pre-compute the numbers in the baseline industrial reconstruction here. For each group of example corresponding to these counts, we sort and accumulate the adversary's confidence uh, here. And the decision variables now are just the different moves that can be performed from a per fairness perspective. So <clears throat> for instance, this variable counts the number of times we will change a zero into a one for positively predicted sorry, examples. The imagine that reestablishing fairness requires to swap five positively predicted examples from protected group zero to protected group one. Then this variable will be five and the exact cost of performing this operation starting by the examples for which the adversary was the less certain, can be found by simply looking in the fifth cell of this array. Given these new uh, constraints, these new variables, we can write the exact same model as before. So we want to minimize the confidence-weighted number of changes to the baseline adversary reconstruction, while keeping at least one example in each protected group. And then we simply state the fairness constraints. So this model has the exact same of set of optimal solutions that the model I showed before, but now it has a polynomial search space with respect to the number of training set samples, and so it scales very well. In our experiments, we use this model, uh, and even for very large data sets, it's always soft to optimality within fractions of seconds. Its drawback is that it can only encode group level constraints over the sensitive attributes, but this is sufficient when dealing with statistical fairness metrics. Okay, so now I'm going to present uh, the experimental evaluation of this approach. So we learned uh, different fair models using the FairLearn library. We use different fairness metrics. Again, for this presentation, I will focus on the statistical parity metric. And uh, we varied the unfairness tolerance value. We considered three biased data sets of the literature with different sizes, different binary prediction tasks, and different sensitive attributes. For uh, the baseline adversary reconstruction, we used an adversary from the literature. 
which is as informed as a reconstruction corrector component. So actually this adversary even uses more information than a reconstruction correction step. So this is really a strong baseline. We implemented their proposed efficient uh, reconstruction correction model using the CPU optimizer solver in this default configuration. And so in uh, practice, the, in the attack, we first run the baseline adversary reconstruction and as shown in the pipeline, we then correct it using a proposed model. So here are some results for the statistical parity metric and for the different data sets. So on the y-axis, we have the reconstruction accuracy, the proportion of training set sensitive attributes that are correctly guessed by the attack. And on the x-axis, we have the unfairness tolerance value. So tighter values means uh, tighter fairness constraints. In blue, we can see the baseline adversary reconstruction and in orange, the corrected version. And what we see is that our proposed reconstruction corrector component is always able to bring some improvement over the baseline adversary. And the tighter the fairness constraints, when we go on the left of the plot, the more important the improvements brought by the reconstruction correction. Just to mention, uh, we also have additional contributions in the papers that I don't have time to detail here. Uh, we performed the experiments with different types of fair learning procedures. We used pre-processing, in-processing, and post-processing fairness enhancing methods, and we showed that the attack still performs uh, identically. We also showed that even if the fairness information is not revealed explicitly, so the attacker doesn't know which fairness metric was used, nor the value of the unfairness tolerance, very simple strategies can be used to infer it, and they result in the attack still succeeding. And finally, we also, also considered a weaker baseline adversary, and we showed that uh, even in this different setup, the reconstruction correction step still brings improvements. So to conclude, we proposed a, a novel approach to improve sensitive attributes reconstruction by any baseline adversary, incorporating user-defined constraints. In this uh, presentation, I used fairness constraints, but this could be other user-defined constraints over the sensitive attributes. We propose two models implementing this approach with either genericity or efficiency advantages. And our results show that the fairness information can be used to improve the success of sensitive attributes reconstruction attacks. So this illustrates the kind of tension between I want to be fair with respect to some sensitive attributes and I want to protect this sensitive attributes privacy. Future work includes combining our attack with different baseline adversaries. So as I mentioned, we tried some other ones, but we can imagine many others. And also applying a framework in uh, the context of multi-valued sensitive attributes. In the paper, we show that the models can be extended to this more general case, but we didn't perform experiments uh, for it. Thank you for your attention.